I'm here at the Unified Streaming booth in the South Hall with Will. Uh, Will, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Unified Streaming does? Sure, no problem. Um, my name's Will. I'm a streaming support engineer at Unified Streaming. And our software is a basically a plugin for Apache. Um, and we also offer a packager as well. Uh, so yeah, we've been very excited to, to come to Vegas and uh, to show off the software. We have a new product uh, that we're just launching at the moment as well, which is called Remix. Mm -hmm. And essentially, it's a, it's a, it's a personalization uh, uh, platform. So we've figured out a way to do all sorts of fun things, uh, fun use cases with personalization, um, including server-side ad insertion, which is a very hot topic at the moment. Um, we've also, the sort of use cases like using an uh, archive to VOD. So if you have a live archive, for example, you can just use that as your, your VOD playout instead of having to separately capture stuff to build an MPVR library. Um, yeah, so there's there's so many different use cases you could use Remix for, uh, but primarily people obviously are interested in, in the server-side add insertion. Um, one of the demos we have uh, this year as well is a little bit of transcoding involved in the Remix platform, uh, because we find if uh, ad content that you get, you haven't got any control over the ad content, for if it's from an ad platform, for example, and perhaps the resolution or the aspect ratio doesn't match with the main content, uh, that can break play out in some players. Uh, so what we thought we could do was basically uh, do a little tiny bit of transcoding to fix that up, uh, and then make sure that the the main content uh, fits perfectly with the, with the ad content. Uh, so yeah, so we have a live demo of that. Um, so happy to show you as well if you want to have a look at it. Cool. Yeah. Um, so I know, yeah, you're probably stuck at the booth for most of the day, but oh, yeah. have you seen any like uh, high-level trends that seem interesting or cool? I think uh, I've seen a lot of uh, people talking about VR, so that seems to be up and coming. Uh, I've spoke to a few customers who are doing it as well, so it's interesting to see where our software fits into that workflow because uh, we haven't really thought of that use case before. I don't think. Yeah, I was going to ask. I mean, are people? Are, is anybody using this for like 360 content? I mean, because theoretically it should just kind of work, right, if yeah, you... I think they're more using it on the streaming side, so they probably have very specific technology uh, on the recording side, and also perhaps on the interactivity part of the VR experience, uh, but then when they need to distribute that content uh, online, then they do the origin in front of that, so, yeah. Cool. Um, so, last question, what are you uh, What are you the most excited about like working on for the next six months, a year? Like, what, what's the coolest problem that you think you'll solve? I think it will still be a remix. There's so many, there are additional use cases we're working on, and it's a lot of work. I mean, there are challenges with uh, ad insertion, there are challenges with caching, there are challenges with tracking the metadata through all of that, you know, how the ads are used, how the ads are viewed, how do you personalize all this content for everybody and not just uh, a set of users. So it's a, it's a complex uh, thing, and there are many, very different other bits of work that we had to focus on and uh, consider before we can stop with it and move on to the next thing. So there's still plenty to go, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Cheers. You're welcome.